Good morning guys, today I'm gonna show you my new, I'm gonna review my new falava uh, I'm gonna show you the new techniques I'm using right now to make my, my dough, my pizza for tomorrow So what I use right now, I use the porcelli flour, this is a fantastic flour, it's one of the best so far are using it It's got 16% protein, the W is 360-370, so very strong flour, it's great for what I do porcelli has got big line of oil, any type of flour for type 0, type 2, 2, uh, double zero. all the lines, semola, semolina, rimancinata. I do love this flour, I use it right now, so it's great flour, they're gonna show you the result tomorrow. So, uh, I'm gonna do the new techniques I use now, I'm gonna do the auto easy. So I'm gonna use um, flour and water first, mix it with my machine. And then I'm gonna add in the rest, the water, salt, and my sourdough starter. So this is gonna be how to leave sourdough pizza. I'm just quite impressed what I've achieved for the last few, few weeks. If someone noticed as well, say, Max, will you change the flour? See something different? Yes. Also, guys, in this recipe, I'm not gonna add any extra olive oil. Why? Um, what I noticed recently, uh, I've done two batches, one with the olive oil, one without. I tested to see, honestly, the results in the door with the olive oil without, it was pretty much the same. So, uh, great result both. And so I said, you know what, I'm probably I'm trying to not use uh, any, any olive oil from now on. The olive oil sort of helps to improve, improve your door. But for my, what I do it, I decide to not use any olive oil. So I don't forget to add it. So I'm not gonna use any olive oil. So guys, I'm gonna do this five kilo porcelain flour, three liters of water, which I'm gonna do the auto easy. And then I go uh, half kilo of sourdough starter, 125 grams sea salt, and 200 um, grams of water, which the water I'm gonna pour in now inside the starter, just to get dissolve, I'm gonna use later on. So first, I'm gonna put in my machine the, the three liters of water and five, kilo of my flour to make the auto easy okay and they're gonna uh, gonna put the, let's put the, the machine okay. that one needed and, and gradually I'm gonna add the three liter of water so we can the balls later on uh, gonna rest at room temperature here and tomorrow I'm gonna bring to the market we're gonna bake pizza I'm gonna show you uh, the results a uh, pretty press with the sourdough starter with this flour with uh, the auto list as well I really step up uh, one more step better than before so I'm really happy to use these techniques now it's simple guys if you want to do a home, because people all the time say, Massimo, you do uh, big batches, I give you the recipe if you want to do a home. One kilo of flour, 600 mmol water, uh, 25 grams salt, and, um, and probably around 20, 20 grams of, of starter. So you have to divide, and uh, it's quite easy to do it. You have to divide the, the recipe. This is, we're gonna do around 40, 45 pizza from the batch today. Then we're gonna rest an hour in the machine. What is the, the, the purpose of the, the auto list? Really create nice, nice oxygen in the dough without anything. So only flour and water is gonna give a boost to my, to my dough. It's gonna create a lot of uh, oxygen. So we have to incorporate everything together. And the 200 mmol uh, water. Okay, so maybe I'm gonna even try to resolve, start to mix already here, and then we're gonna add at the end. It's very easy techniques, and uh, you can see my nice starter. 
So I done my outdoor easy Salvador pizza. It's gonna be ready for tomorrow. You're gonna see the structure of the door or the cross, and uh, and we're gonna taste all together. Okay, so as you can see, the, the machine start to really incorporate all the flour, and then I'm gonna once absorb, should go all the flour from the from the bowl away, and I'm just gonna combine uh, everything together, and then uh, rest for an hour, and then we add all the rest. All the process I do 24 hour room temperature. This fantastic flour is great. I always do room temperature from my pizzas, and then uh, cut them, make the balls arrested here in this room, and uh, also I check the weather for tomorrow. It's gonna be around 16, 17 degrees tomorrow. It's gonna be sunny, so I put a little bit less even started. I always watch the forest cast as well. You can see all the flowers start to absorb. Yeah, make another two minutes. That's the first step of the of the, the mixing everything for hours. So also I don't do big hydration. Why? Because I keep my row low at room temperature all the time. If you do 70% I leave room temperature, the next day it's gonna be completely flat up. I have to work with this, it will be absolutely complicated for me. So that's why I keep 60, 62, 62 um, hydration to avoid to, to keep the flattening up of the dough in my trays and the next day will be it can give a really difficult time to work for me that's one of the reasons so if you're using fridge refrigerate you can do 70 75 without any problem but room temperature you have to be very careful doing big hydration right okay so we get in there see the machine nearly absorb for the flower Another two three minutes. I'm gonna add the machine. I'm gonna have it close. Sometimes you have to deliver to the machine just to just to be quicker. But I see it comes all the flowers is go away. This recipe, guys, so it's not gonna be any extra uh, olive oil. Uh, that's my new decision to change in my recipe. Nothing against the olive oil, guys. It still makes nice result of your dough. But for what I do, I decide to stop using it for now. There you go. So as you can see, there is no more flour on the bowl of my mixer. It's super clean. So I leave like this in the machine just for an hour. Just for an hour, guys. And then I'm gonna put my salt, my little uh, my starter at 200 ml water. I'll see you in one hour. It rests for an hour. Look, and you see look the, the gluten. It's even make your gluten even very, very strong. It's great. So now I'm gonna add the, my starter now with a little bit, the 200 grams of water. I'm gonna spin it and then I'm gonna add the salt at the end. Okay, so let's give a spin. Minus the then at the end, I'm gonna add the salt. I'm gonna put it on my table. Let me rest for 10 minutes. I'm gonna start to make the balls, put on the tray. Okay guys, now I can add the, the salt. That's the last part of the process.
Okay, start to create the pumping shape. As you can see, the ball is clean. I'm gonna give it another one, two minutes. I'm gonna pull on the table. Right, okay, so I'm gonna remove it, put on the table. Use my red knife. I don't want to add extra flour. Okay. Go. Our door now is ready, guys. I'm gonna give it a step 50 minutes, then I'm gonna start to cut it. Okay, we gotta cut soon. Okay, guys, I'm starting to, to cut it. I just give it a rest for 20 minutes, and then I'm gonna make each ball around 200 grams to 10 the classic way, before like that. I squeeze at the bottom so that's so normally I wait the first one I'm gonna show you now with the scale so I'm gonna cut another one I should be able to to do around 200 210 so let's see have a look at the scale come to the scale oh 220 it's fine I've been telling that little bit yeah, 223 it's okay I don't really mind if a couple of grams so I don't Normally I do it out and then test it again. Fold. See now. Yeah, so that's kind of size I'm gonna fold now. Another one. Around 210, that's ideally for me. Yeah, I know by hand already. The 216, 218. All right, guys, so I'm gonna finish to trace everything now. I don't wanna show you all the video, you know, trace up uh, everything. So I'm gonna trace up, I'm gonna close, I'm gonna give it room temperature here for 24 hours. It's 11 o'clock right now. And uh, probably at the same time tomorrow, we're gonna bake it. And uh, see you tomorrow at the market. Cheers. Yes, we are in the market, it's 11 o'clock, so exactly 24 hours ago we done my batches. So that's the batch we done. Uh, I've done also another batch of 10 kilo after the video yesterday, so normally I do 15 kilo, and that's the 5 kilo I done. So basically I've done 15, 30, around 45 pizza. One second, that's your pizza, sir. Enjoy, have a good day. Right, so now we're gonna test, guys. We're gonna test the sound, we're gonna test the the, the cross and we're gonna taste the, the quality right now there you go it's around 60 to 63 percent hydration we get a little bit more softer okay so i'm gonna try to make a little bit as more i try to make the cross 
a little bit thicker to see the, the structure of the crust. Okay. So make a little bit smaller, just to see uh, the air pocket, if there's any good ones. All right, we're gonna make soup, margarita. One, two, three, four pieces of uh, basil, that should be enough. Okay, a little bit of olive oil. Okay, so I really want to make, just to see, to make a treat a little bit more cross, to see the designing eye pockets. Let's do, oh, it's nice and softer. Go one, in the oven, the plates. Right. So, yes, what I notice are the new techniques I'm doing, I can see much, much more than before. Uh, so I really, improve the my recipe and we're gonna see together if this is or not piece of logs right yeah the oven's around 400 degrees as you usual I don't want to keep too much flame maybe I'm gonna put one small one again at the back Uh, you see already the cross getting bigger and puff. Can you see from the camera? Yeah. And this, remember, is 200, average 210, the weight of the pizza dough. And you can see already it's puffing so quickly. I think the autolysis is give a boost of the dough, the recipe. And uh, then you see the sound, the eye packet, the taste it. Hopefully it's gonna be okay, but oh, oh, wow! I said just in time. See? Yeah, it's fine. Hopefully it should be piece of love. We want top of the pizza. It can happen, guys. No worries. So this is ready. Okay. There's no ash. It just went next to it. Okay. First we're gonna sound the sound. So now with the scissor, we're gonna cut it to avoid to damage the, the cross. Ah, you can see guys, this absolutely what I'm looking for. Now I'm gonna try a piece just to try. And normally I don't eat in the morning. Look at the cross here, we got it. Look at that. Nice, very cross. Okay. Just give me one minute, sir, yeah? Yeah? Okay, we're gonna taste now. Yeah, sorry, Bob. <laughs> I'm joking, guys. Guys, this is absolutely fantastic. I'm really happy that this all we got it here in the crust. You can cut it here again to damage with the pizza peel, the pizza cutter. And absolutely amazing with the auto lies with the sourdough together, it's really make a, a fantastic door gonna finish. Mm. So guys, that's my new recipe. Uh, I wanna show it to you. If you got any question, leave the comment below. Big thumbs up if you like this video. And I need to make some pizza now. And see you next time. Let's have a look, show it again across. Thanks for watching.